Hi. Hi guys, it's uh, Sophie the Unicorn and Brian the Scary Lions here. Hello. We are, with everything that's going on in the world, now I don't really want to bring it up because people on YouTube have been getting demonetized for saying it. Yeah, it's a demonetized <laughs> word. It's it's because of these people who are like uh, trying to gain from it and it's like, yo, know, it's, it's an actual serious thing. You can't be trying yeah. to gain. So, with all the chaos going around, we thought instead, because me and Brian, are, we've been self-isolating for a while anyway. Yeah. We we thought, we don't want to leave you all hanging, so we're going to do a podcast. It's it's weird, right? Because, uh, we're, right, we're talking about everything that's going on. Uh, I thought it'd be nothing to me, right? Because, well, you're, me and you are the same, we've pretty much been self-isolating for the past six years. No, I keep making the joke that like, society's been self-isolating me for my whole life, so this is just a breeze for me. But I never realised that, like, uh, how hard it'd be, how hard it'd hit me that I can't actually come and see you, I can't go and see Ian and that. I mean, like... Well, I, I think it's a British thing. Like, you don't want to do something until you get told... It's taken away from you. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, don't touch... If someone turned around... Right, if there was a button in the room, you won't want to touch it, but as soon as someone turns around and goes, do not touch that button... <laughs> well, uh, let's just see what happens by the end of all this. I've got a feeling that... W between me and you, someone that we live with will probably be dead. Well, I only live with one person. So do I. That, so, so are we making bets on this? <laughs> yeah, who, who's going to be the one to die? Is it going to be... Everyone let us know in the comments, do you think I'll kill my brother, or do you think my brother will kill me, or do you think Sophie will kill her boyfriend, or do you think her boyfriend will kill him, kill her? Well, I, I want to bet that I'm going to kill my boyfriend, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> one sec, Tom. Do you think you'll kill me, or will I kill you? Tom says he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> right. I'm th I, we were going to talk about me and Brian and how we know each other, but we will start with that. But I think I'm going to throw a few things in at some point because we, me and Brian seem to go on tangents. It's how we've always been. Yeah, so, we just start this, chatting and random shit comes yeah. out. Like that that beginning part that just came out of nowhere. We had no no plan yeah. for that. <laughs> so this is my first podcast. Yeah, it is, isn't if, it? If I ramble, if I, all that, I'm sorry. I'm used to. Um, it feels like I'm just talking to Brian. Yeah. So just have a bit of patience with me. But are you ready, Brian? Let's get this started. Uh, before we start, Sophie, I should just say. Yes. Remember, none of this is edited. People all, all know this. None of this is ed edited. So try to be careful with what you're saying. It's, it's sort of like, you are live on Channel 4. Please do not say fuck or bugger. What's really funny is, Brian knows I, I struggle with this. So this will be an interesting experiment, if anything. <laughs> yeah. Right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. What, what, what are we starting out with? I think we need to tell people how we met. We've kind of which, said it. Which, which part? Well, let's go through the first and the second. We won't, uh, by the way, we're not going to put names of places or names of people because we're not like that. Oh, well, Unless well, you've we, heard about them. We can actually name uh, out the place. It was outside of the place because that place is no longer there. It's shut down. No, I mean, the other th I mean the other thing. Oh, yeah, well, obviously the other thing. Right. So, shall we do your side of the story and my side of the story? Uh, fair enough. Well, do you want me to start out with where I was before we first met? You were at the gym. Yeah, I, I was at the gym. Yeah, you wouldn't think, like, you lot have seen me now on camera. I'm I'm a fat twat. But <laughs> I actually used to go to the gym, and I wasn't buff at all. He had good arms. But that was I, the one thing that I remember... When I saw you, was you had good arms and your tattoos. But I, I was the opposite of what I am now. I was like skinny as fuck back then. I, no, but just think about it. So was I. Yeah, you were actually. 
Okay. So man. I'll start. I had just been to town. This is what you do at that age. You used to spend time with your friends. You could tell we're English. <laughs> and we used to hang out. And I had to go back to where I was living. So I was walking up. And his friend, I don't know. Um, uh, he, he, if, Ovsel, Ovsel spoke to me before in the past. Ovsel doesn't mind his name being mentioned. Well, Ovsel was like, trying to flirt with me. <laughs> and even Uncle will say he tried flirting with me. Yeah, he knows he was flirting with you. I even remember what I was wearing, sort of. I was wearing, like, a strappy top and some shorts, because it was summer. Yeah, it was, it was that uh, red strappy top. Yep. So, we were, like, Uncle was trying to flirt badly. Just think, like, Chandler Bing Bab <laughs> from Friends. And he was making me feel awkward. Me and Brian were just talking, talking. Yeah, well, well, with him flirting, that was the first, like, little look we ever shared because we just looked at each other like, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Who <laughs> is this guy? Trust me, Ufzel's funny as fuck. He, he, he flirts with just about everyone. He, like, well, I've not seen him in a little bit, but he used to flirt with just about everyone. It was funny as fuck. And they, trust me, he's, like, one of the best friends I've ever had. But that wasn't actually the first time they hung out because that was just a meeting. It was really strange. It was like we were supposed to meet past. Well, yeah, because I, I I was just over meeting uh, another one of my friends. Who I knew. Yeah. But um, and then we met again, and me and, we won't go into where, but we were, we were, ended up living in the same place, right? Yeah. Um, but we met through. And that, and it was really strange because I looked at him like, I'm sure I know you. And I think you <laughs> did the same. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was drunk. Yep. <laughs> that, that, that I'd was... just got paid a lot of money and I'd been out drinking like a lot. What's funny about this, though, that night me and Brian sat up all night. He let me use his laptop. <laughs> that, you don't that, remember? Yeah, that laptop's in pieces now. Yeah, but we literally just sat up chatting. I think it was like from dinner, like whenever to morning. I, I can we tell you exactly. Chatting. I can tell you exactly what time it was from. It was what? from seven o'clock because I had come downstairs to watch Hollyoaks. Black. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's when how we met. Uh, not gonna lie, and I think Brian won't mind me saying that. Brian liked me before. Oh, by the way, anyone who's new, me and Brian are exes. <laughs> you say that I, I liked you before uh, you liked me and all that lot. I was, I was in a relationship when we first met. Right. The what? That, you can still have a crush on someone while you're in a relationship. Yeah, true, true. But, that's how Brian and Sophie became <coughs> well met. Yeah, and it's how how it all started, which is funny because that was how long ago was that? About about hold on, I think I was twenty, so it'd be about six years ago. That's on. So me and Brian. Have, Obviously, we've had a relationship, and well, maybe we'll do that in another podcast. I don't think that's something for this one. Well, no, but, it, it, we're del we'll, we're delving into stuff. We'll 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 keep chatting. Who knows what's gonna fucking come out? No, but what I'm saying <laughs> is, I don't want to really go down that path because it is an hour long conversation. That's what these but, podcasts are for. You you chat for ages. But me and him had a, a three year relationship. It was brilliant. I just wasn't there. That's what happened. It was me. Uh, we were really good, but we were always meant to be friends. It's not just that. I think one of the... I, I hope you don't mind me saying this. No. But, uh One of the big things that uh, kind of we connected on was also one of our big downfall things. It was... We both got, you know... Mental health. Mental health issues. And I think it was the biggest thing that we connected on, but it was like one of the biggest problems that we had at the same time. 
I'm going to give people out there advice. I'm not someone who gives advice very often, but I think podcasts are one of them platforms where you can do it. Because you don't have to listen. It could be bullshit, but... Yeah. What I'm going to say is don't, unless you are ready and happy yourself, don't get in a relationship because, yes, your partner is supposed to bring you up, but they're not supposed to be the lawyer lifting you up. They're supposed to be by your side and following you as it happens. They're supporting you, but they're not supposed to be the ones bringing you up. You're supposed to do it yourself. Yeah, it's it's, it's not just that. Say, like, you get... Oh. Are you still there? That's it. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Um, it. Uh, I don't know how to mute my notifications. You will hear a sound. That yeah, it you'll hear a sound every game. now and then. But um, yeah, one of the biggest things as well is like getting into a relationship when you've both like mm-hmm. you're both like down and shit all the time. It's it, it becomes an issue because it's like right, you're down the other person's down, so you feel worse that you can't make them feel better, and then they feel worse that they can't make you feel better, so effectively you're just putting each other further and further down because you can't help each other. Yeah. But that's the only advice I'll ever give, is be happy in yourself first because because then things will be better. Pretty much, yeah. You've got better foundations. But I got a best friend out of this, and Brian is my bestest friend. Uh, I class his brother as my family now. Me and Tom, I'd love to... Let us know if you want me and Tom to do one of these, because it'd be interesting, because me and Tom are completely different. Well, do you know what? I think this is probably one of the things that we should explore now. Uh, The fact that me and you... We are exes, but uh, you're also my, you, you're my best friend. Like a lot of we've people don't see it as normal. We've, we've done this video kind of when we did the makeup challenge. Yeah, but we've never really delved into like how we were able to push through into being best friends. Like we talked about like coping with uh, you know breaking up and still being in contact and all that, but we've never really spoke about. Like what makes us best friends? Why we were able to move from that that point Can in I our life to this? This this is gonna make me sound egotistical. Go on. But I think it's because of me. Um, I have this issue of not once something's over, I lose that emotional baggage that comes with it. If that makes sense, I've I've got a lot of friends that I, mm. I, I have dated. Mm. Um. Sorry, I just got a message off my Leon. He's just seen how I am. I'm not feeling very well, so he's keeping an eye on me. <laughs> That's fair um, enough. But um, it's because I, once I've it's ended, I'm able to put that behind me. Yeah. It, it's not easy for everyone, but I have that capability of putting that aside. And I didn't want to lose Brian as a friend because we were friends before we got together. Yeah, we were. So me and him had a sit down and the conversation, and we even tried again. Not gonna lie, but it just wasn't for us. Yeah, I, I don't know how you feel about that, Brian. I don't know if that helped you that I wasn't so emotionally. No, it's in there. it's like um in a video that's going to be going out on a later day. I do mention the fact that I think we were over before the last time we got back together, and. Uh, it, yeah, that video. I, oh my god! I hope that's out before this one. But it, it's, that'll be a fun. But it's more of a case of uh, when we got back together at that point. Like I didn't think it was wrong. I thought, <laughs> do you know what? I uh, still love her. Like, like it'll be good to try to work through this, uh, get back together, and that. But we were. But then we realised we don't need to be together because we we were best friends and. It yeah, because be. like that last time we got back together, we we were spending no time together. We were in opposite no. rooms constantly. We, we didn't want to. It, we didn't. We didn't feel like we needed to put the effort anymore. It's not just that. There was times. No. There's time. There was times I was sleeping on the couch because I just didn't want to come in. And I didn't want to talk to him because I just. 
it didn't feel right anymore. Yeah, that's a be- that's the best way to put it, basically. Um, I have, uh, this just came to my head, but I will ask you a few questions that I don't think we'd, there's questions that I wish I'd asked in some of the videos, so this would be a good time to do it. Okay, everyone, expect this video to run a little bit shortly because my answers may not be the best and Sophie may leave. Go on, Sophie. No, no, no. <laughs> so, me and you, growing up, right. totally different. But what do you think the similarities are between my growing up and your growing up? Well... And just to clarify, I'm not saying, like... Brian's scum of the earth, or whatever. It's just that we were brought up in completely different lifestyles. Yeah. Um, well, one one of the big similarities that we have uh, is we've both got some that's on the autistic spectrum. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got ADHD. Obviously, I've spoke about this in the past. Uh, and I've got dyspraxia, which, if you don't know, I might do my own podcast at some point talking about my mental health well either way even even if people do know like what dyspraxia Mm -hmm. is like it it affects people in different ways doesn't it so it might be good just to talk about it if you want to um dyspraxia is a broad term for the main thing you know how adhd is like concentration um keeping concentration and hyperactiveness mine is coordination so riding a bike doing two things at once not good uh, hand and eye coordination not very good and motor skills but at the same time i'm not good at facial expressions or vocal tones i've had to teach myself thank god but you said I ha- expressions i haven't got a disability it's not classed as a disability mine is more of a difficulty because i can get better it'll never go away but it will get better. Oh, Whereas um, some, I didn't know if you knew the difference between a difficulty and disability. So maybe you've learned some of it. No, I didn't. Know, uh, like last time I checked up on uh, ADHD, I like I'm one of these. I keep researching to try to find out if like shit's ever going to change for me and that. Which apparently I may learn to cope with it and that, but mm-hmm. it, apparently it'll never go away. But like last time I checked up, uh, ADHD was classed as a learning mm-hmm. disability. Yeah, see, mine's a difficulty. So, yeah, that's the smaller version of it. I can't ride a bike properly, I can't swim, my handwriting's awful, and I struggle with social situations. So, and um, a lot of A lot of those actually match up with ADHD, so going back to your question, there's one of the things we matched up on growing up. Well, yeah, same with the autism and Asperger's, like, uh, they struggle with the same stuff. What else? Well, well, what uh, it so much different? well, it is the thing, like, this is another weird part. This is a very, very weird thing as well. Um, growing up, and I didn't know this until we spoke about it, but Sophie actually used to go around to my auntie's house. Who, yeah. who was literally just lived around the other side of me. Like, I used to go to my auntie's house constantly as well. So I used to hang with Ian. Yeah, it's it's mad to think about because, like, we knew the same people growing up and that, but we never... I, I, I don't think we met. No, I don't think we did. Like, there's there's a chance there could have been, like, a brief encounter. No, but... you would have re- you would have remembered the girl with pots on her legs, I think. Love, I can barely remember what I had to eat last night. <laughs> what did I have? Sorry, no. <laughs> but, um, okay, so there's that, but what's the difference? The difference in the way we grew up? Mm-hmm. Well, I know one of them. Well, you grew up with your birth mother and father. Yeah. That That's a big difference. That's not to say, like, oh, I had a shit bringing up and that. Mm-hmm. I loved my dad. Like, it may not have been, like, my birth dad. I loved my dad to bits. He he grew me up and he will, al- he will always be... <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? He grew me up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he brought me up and uh, he will always be my, like, true dad, my real dad. Uh, yeah. Other di- I was thinking... Are you ready? Go on. I 
It sounds bad, but you were more social, sociable back back in your day. Oh but yeah. I prefer, I preferred being like I was more socially. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's coming through loud and clear. Apologies I'm to so anyone sorry. listening, because uh, yeah, th- this is probably going to continue. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Stop. Uh, this will probably be on the podcast. Do you want to restart this podcast and I'll turn off my notifications? Uh, it would be a lot easier. I need to restart anyway. That was, I, I, I feel like I've not got the flow of it. So no, I, every, everything's gone well, but we can stop it for a minute and then bring it back in. I can just put it all together in the one if you want. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, we shall return in just a actually, moment. Actually, I can do it while I'm on. All right, we don't actually have to cut it. Fair enough. You just yeah. heard, you guys have just heard all that, and it meant absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's so fifty. I'm very disorganised as well, which is part of this Brexit. Yeah, there's that, and you're a bit ditzy, so that's just me. I think <laughs> this is. Do you know what? I'm going to talk about this while I'm doing this. I was talking to Brain about this. It's very, when you've got stuff like ADHD and ADD and dyspraxia. And even dyslexia, you don't actually, you don't know what's just your personality, or what's what's the um, mental illness and that. Yeah, that's it, it, it's a big point. Yeah, and we don't talk about. I'm not saying we we don't talk about mental health very often because it's not that we don't we're ashamed or. All that, it's more like we don't think you need to hear it unless it comes up. Yeah. And that's the truth. Yeah, it, it, well, it, it's one of those because it's like, well, you were saying you don't like to, it, it's not a case of we don't like to bring it up. For me, it is one of the big reasons I don't like to bring it up because it's like, I live with it, so I don't want to have to explain it constantly. <laughs> Oh, happily. How many times have I said I might do a video, like like one of my rant videos where I just talk about my mental health? But yeah. it's up to you guys who are listening right now. The ones that listen to every single pop video and all that, I'd like to hear if you want to hear maybe a podcast on mental health and how we caught with it. It's not going to be about mental health as a whole, but how we've how it's affected us and what, how we learn to cope with it and what helps us. But just let us know, I'm not going to do it on this one because I want to try and keep this happy because I know a lot of people are under stress because of the self-isolation and we want to make you laugh. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I was going to say. It's, it, it's another reason that I don't like, you know, massively bringing it up all the time because... Uh, I do these videos to make people happy. I'll never hide the fact that, you know, yeah, I've me, got depression and Tom, that. Me and Tom are very open about it. But uh, I, what I want to put out online is uh, a happier version because it's like you, you're not coming on to YouTube to go and watch someone talk about how shit they feel. It's not just that. <laughs> we're, not de- we're not depressed all the time. Yeah, that's a we're big not. misconception. That That is a massive misconception. But we'll get into Actually, that when we do another video. No, but just ask Brian, right? Anyone who... I am one of the happiest people in the world when it comes to 90% of the time. No, no, not 90. 50% of the time, I'm still smiling even when I'm down. Yeah. People think that when you're depressed, you're not smiling, but you are. It's just harder. Well, it's not a case of you are or you aren't. It, this is a big point that I push forward to everyone. Depression hits people in different ways. People have got different ways of coping. There's massive differences when it comes to different people. But are you ready for the next question, Brian? Go on, what's this next question? If you was on a desert island... Okay, we're just going into a quiz video, you know. Go on. No, 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 no. We're gonna. What What we'll do is do a few of these in between all the big things, and we'll see how it goes. All right, fair I enough. I've done one of these. I'm I'm the one that's heading this. Unfortunately, it's not going to be organised. You, you're going to get distracted here <laughs> in a podcast. Yeah. But I'm actually interested on on it because it shows your brain. Yeah. So you allow one person 
And I don't mean celebrity. It's going to be someone who's around you. Right. Uh, one tool or something that you can use and one food. What are you taking? Right. Uh, so this is a desert island, you said, yeah? Yep. So You're it's... not allowed a boat. No, I'm saying so, like, this is, uh, you've got, like, your palm trees, your coconut trees, all of that. Yeah, lot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The tool that I'm taking, I'm taking a screwdriver. Right. Screwdrivers break into coconuts so easy. Right. So it's going to be like an essential thing because you can't drink seawater, can you? No. Uh, one food that I'm bringing. Mm. Well, I've got coconuts now. So, you, so you're allowed to get stuff dropped off, but it's only like one kind of food. Uh, well, I've got coconuts now. Uh, is it food or food or food and drink? Food or drink, I guess. Food or drink, water. No, 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 I can't have that. <laughs> I'm keeping myself alive. Um, I know. Right, if I'm not allowed water, I'll have Lucas Ed. Right. Lucas Ed Sport. Now the hard one, because everyone's going to get offended in your friendship group. Right, the person that I'm bringing along with me? Yeah. Remember, don't take me because I'd die. Uh, oh. Who could I make miserable? No, it's either make miserable or someone who will help with the team. That makes sense. Or that the person, if anything goes wrong, you can eat them. I'd rather have someone I can just make miserable. That'd be my entertainment. Uh... It's in your friendship group, though. Yeah, I know. That... Trust me, making Ian! people miserable is funny. Ian! Uh, yeah, tell you what, I'll t I'll take Ian with me. No, because so no, because Ian's hard to make miserable. I need to make you miserable. Yeah, Ian likes torturing people as much as I do. Yeah, so I imagine how many spoilers you'd have. Yeah, I know. He's he's telling me about films he hasn't even seen yet. Uh, who do I take with me? It's hard, isn't it? Oh, I know who I take with me. Uh, Mr. K. Right. He was the deputy head at my school. Hated him. Right. Do you want to hear mine? Go on. Mac and cheese. Fair enough. But I'd have, like, the hot meals so I can put it on, a, like, a summer to warm up underneath, if that makes sense. Yeah, well, the, the pasta's going to fill you up, but the fact that it's mac and cheese could also lay heavy on you and... Make you very, very thirsty. Oh, no, 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 I know what I want. Do you know those tins of fruit cocktails? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that, and then I want duct tape, because duct tape. Right. And I tape Liam, and it's not because he's my boyfriend. He goes camping. So, survival um, skills. Because I would die if I didn't have someone to uh, carry me, as they say, in gaming mode. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm assuming your uh, tin of fruit cocktail then is pull. No. Nope. Well, how the hell are you opening it? You didn't get a. T you didn't. You asked for duct tape. You didn't ask for a tin opener. There'll be stones, right? Talk oh yeah, stones. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried opening a tin with anything other than a tin opener? It's fucking impossible. Liam can do it. Fucking weirdo. No, no. <laughs> See, this is what's this is what's funny. Do you do you honestly think opposites attract? Yeah, pretty much. Because I was thinking this. Me and Liam are opposites. He like he's really outdoorsy. He likes going to festivals. He does um, camping. I, I I don't think he'd mind me saying all this. Hmm. And uh, and if he doesn't, fuck him. <laughs> and his woman. <laughs> um, but, he, he's gonna right. watch this, you know. No, no, fuck you. Um, but he likes all that. He does like it. We've got certain things that we're very similar with. You notice this? We've got the same sense of humour, same um, what do you call it? Uh, gaming. We love games. Uh, we like. You've got the same tastes and that. Yeah. 
but he likes being outdoorsy and I prefer being in watching films and all that. Yeah. So it must, opposites can't fully attract, but I think they can as long as you've got something similar. You can't be totally opposite. No, here's the thing, right? And uh, this is a message to uh, fucking anyone watching, right? There is no limit, no, uh, like, anything on who you fall in love with, who you're attracted to or whatever, as long as it's legal. Um, (laughs) Like, don't let anyone tell you you can't be with someone. Like, uh, if, I don't know, you fall in love with someone who your parents hate, if you fall in love with someone who your parents hate or whatever... It's it's still your life. It's your choice. You you love someone. Fuck what anyone else thinks. Well, but the problem with that is, I'm going to tell you another thing that I learned a long time ago. Go on. Well, it's really depressing. I'm sorry, guys. Get ready for the little violin. Love sucks. Lo- no, no, love. Love isn't always a reason to stay either. Oh yeah, no love. But- love can be the biggest pain in the world. Like like actual pain yeah uh, but can we get off this this is depressing i don't know why we like moved on to that i I was giving a little message of hope and inspiration you know love that's whoever you want what does that say about us which is funny because <laughs> i'm usually the one that's quite hopeful and brain someone that's usually like the world sucks oh no the world does suck but i like to try to do you know but i can't be happy within myself like at least try to make other people happy <laughs> You know what's really funny? And I'm going to give a shout out to someone who actually watches these videos. Uh, I've just been talking to a friend from America called Brian, actually. Hello, Brian. Um, And we were talking about how if everyone had a little piece of hope in them, just a little, I think the world would be a better place because that hope makes people do things. Well, I'm already spoiling that. No, you're not, because you have hope (laughs) that... You, you, he makes jokes, but you have hope that I have a better life. Well, yeah, I, I have, I have hope for humanity. Yeah, and I think that's the message I'm going to give out today to what I know. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I don't know who's going to listen to this. I don't even know if you've lasted this long. If but you have, you know hello. Listening. Hiya. <laughs> oh, the sporting. Sorry. Um, <laughs> What I'm going to say is a bit of hope because there are some really horrible people out there and I talk about them a lot, but there's people out there who do care and who are putting the effort in. Yeah, the, the, the will run for president. Yeah, it, it's like there's always someone out there who cares about you. Like, no matter who you are, what you've done, even the and most no terrible... How small. I'm, no I'm matter go- how small. Yeah, I'm going to say this now as well. No matter how terrible a person is, even Hitler had someone who loved him. Are we really going to use Hitler as an excuse? Like, Yo, uh, th- think of someone more evil than Hitler. Like, think of someone who's worse than Hitler. And go on, like, tell tell me who that person we- is. Hitler's uh, the perfect Hitler- example no, of a no, bad no. person. I- to say this, I'm not saying Hitler wasn't evil. He was. <laughs> I don't, don't quote me. Make we are not joining. We are not jumping into this conversation again. We've had this conversation a million yeah, times. But, but I think his henchmen were worse. But they still had people that they care about. Yeah, that's what I mean. People still loved them. So you know, there's someone out there who loves you. Just be not just that. Just know that. It, it, look at these people who have nothing but give everything. Yeah, and I, that's what um this this is what I want from this podcast. If you sat in your your house or in your room or you 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 think you're not smiling right now, I want you to smile because we're still here. Like yeah, yeah. I'm quite shocked, but we're still here and we're still running. And even us little YouTubers who only do it for the fun, we want you to smile as well. Yeah. And I think that's what I'm going to take from this. I'm going to carry on talking, but by the end of this podcast, I'm going to say something probably really, like, sentimental. Uh, if you get to that that point and you're still listening, like, good on you, you deserve a, a <laughs> star. But I think what we need to talk about, really, is 
us why we do YouTube. What? Why did you want to do YouTube? Because I know you had skepticism, and you would. I had to actually tell you, no, you need to do this. Well, the the big the big thing behind me starting all of this was, uh, I think I've already said like partially most of this, but like I growing up, uh, like I had a different a load of different career like aspects in mind but the big one was always i wanted to be an actor i always wanted to be in front of the camera uh to say i'm the drama queen <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh like one year like what at one point I, I just got showed this video i was in college and um one of my old friends uh, i won't say his name because like i'm trying not to mention names but he goes to me check check this out and it was uh ksi and oh, I love KSI. <laughs> yeah and the video was like what was it it was something like akin fenwa is a beast or something like that yeah and i was like so who who is this guy is it like uh like am, am i supposed to know who these people are and they're like no it, it, it's literally just a guy in front of a camera making videos at home i was like you can do that <laughs> And then I just started getting more and more into it, started watching more and more, and I fell in love with it, and it became something that I always wanted to do, but never had the guts to do. So it just took that little extra push. It was people like you, people like Tom, all, all everyone just behind me, like, giving me that nudge saying, go for it, you can do it. Like, we actually believe you can do it. And so I thought, do you know what, fuck it, give it a go. And what? if it doesn't you know work what? out... It do, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I've had fun doing it. Like you know what's really funny about this, Bob Brian. Go on. Do you not remember? I was like in management at one point. I was the one that was throwing ideas at you because you used to struggle. I was just behind the scenes. That, yeah, that's the thing. I've always had uh, you and Tom, to, you and Tom behind the scenes. Tom's been a big influence in like so much that I've done as well. Uh, I spitball ideas with him every now and then. Yeah, but I used to ring him up going. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea for you. And he's like, what? And he's like, we should do this. I mean, I've got a few. And I'm like, I'm going to tell you one of them. I want to do a Thames machine. Yeah. Well, we did have that planned and I bought one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was faulty. So yeah. I, need to, I need to get a more expensive one. I don't think I told you why I did it. Did I? What do you mean? I don't, I don't think I even told you why I wanted Why you wanted to get into YouTube? Yeah. No, like, uh, it, it was one of those things, like, I was talking to you about maybe doing a video together, but, like, yeah, we've never actually discussed why you actually wanted to get into it, so, go on. Um, I watched Brian, because I used to be in the room with Brian while he did it, and I, I saw this, this quiet, shy guy turn into this person who you see, and this, this confident lion. <laughs> and I thought I want to be confident, but I kept on having this doubt which runs through me like like my blood does. Like doubt's always been my issue. Mm. And I was I had ideas of what I wanted to do. At first I was gonna do like Team Talk. Do you remember that? It was Yeah. Team Talk. And then we were gonna but what we came down to was I'm really good at hating. Not in a horrible way, not like real well, it's, hate. It's not hate. It's not really no, hate. I, no, it's situations that I hate, not people. I don't I've never hated anyone. See, I've always but, saw it more as you like to complain. Mm, <laughs> I'm what you call real British. But um it's not just that and then I was like why don't I just, I like speaking to people. I like getting my point across. I like doing that. But I couldn't find the confidence to do it straight away. So I started doing videos. My first video I ever really did with Brian was... Um, try Not To Laugh. Friendship Test. No, it yeah. was Try Not To Laugh. Yeah, it was called Try Not... Oh, yeah, no, it was Try Not To Laugh Food Edition. Yeah, Horrible. with we uh, watching Josh. Yeah. And it gave me confidence, and actually, it's get. I don't know if you've noticed, but you won't be able to see this. But behind the scenes, I'm not having to restart five times anymore. 
Yeah, that no, I've noticed. Very... So, and then it came to it where I went to Brian one day. I said, I want to. We had to make characters, which we did. And that, that was, was fun. I've always been a unicorn because I'm unique and I've always said I'm a unicorn. It's part of it. I've got a tattoo on my leg of my unicorn and dragon. <laughs> so that was easy. And then I turned around and went, I want to do something on my side because there's certain stuff that we're very different on and we've got two sides of our channel, mine and Brian's, and they are completely different. So yeah. I was like, I want to do rant videos. And Brian was like, what do you mean? And we we, oh, we were, what's it called? Uh, snowballing down the track of ideas until it hit me. Hmm. I want to rant about stuff that really annoys me in life. Nothing serious. I would never talk about politics or, but yeah. I would talk about stuff that just annoys me. And I did. And it was really good. And it's just, uh, what's the word? And nostalgic. It's good for you. And yeah. it, it purges you. And then I started getting these sick ideas, which you'll understand what I mean when you see this video that we've been talking uh, about. Because I like the feeling of being awkward. To say I've got anxiety, I love the feeling of embarrassing people. And not in a hurtful way, between our friendships and putting people on the edge to push them. I do need so, to edit that video down, though. There's a lot in there that can't go Yeah, on. <laughs> but that's what started it. The want to be a better person for myself. And I think a lot of people do that to get the confidence. But my first YouTube video that I ever saw was chocolate, was it called Chocolate Rain? Chocolate Rain. Rain. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And Badger, Badger, Badger. Well, here's, here's a little peek behind the curtain. Uh, this is something that we've never talked about. Um, before Sophie actually did the first video, We'd been spitballing for a while. There was even talks of, like, you starting up your own channel and me helping you get set up. And cooking. Do you remember the cooking bit where I was going to cook while talking? Not that yeah. I'm very, I love cooking, but I was like, I couldn't afford it. But uh, Unfortunately, I can't. But the, the whole idea of but, Sophie coming into it was, uh, literally, I just turned around to her and I went, well, until you're ready to, uh, like, start up your own channel, if you want, you can come and do videos with me. We literally have a deal, which is when and if I am ready to do my own channel. I'll help you get started I'll, up. Yeah, but I don't want to. Not yet. Not until this channel. I made a deal that I'm going to get this channel up and we're going to carry on until I'm ready. And I won't do it until I'm ready and I am willing to put the 100% effort in. That Brian, this is something you lot don't see. Brian puts in so much effort for you guys just to make me... <laughs> these videos and you should he, he doesn't sleep sometimes because he's having to edit and and we love doing it we love it we love spit but most of our conversations are about youtube now and what we're going to do on the next channel yeah me and him were so upset not obviously that what's going on in the world is bad we were upset that we couldn't put videos out because we like doing that for you guys yeah, we had we had plans to meet up. You and Tom were going to do videos. We were going to oh, have I a would... lot of stuff. Yeah, but... Unfortunately, these things do happen, though. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Well, he... I've got cooties. Here's a little thing. Um, I know that it's joked about, like, uh, I'm pres I pressure Tom into videos and that. Uh, I, I, I just want to put it out there. I never actually pressure anyone into videos. And do you know with being on the channel... I've said to everyone that's involved, be in it for as long as you want. Do whatever videos you want as long as you want. If you ever want to leave it, just just let me know and I'll just put out a little video saying that blah, whoever's moving on to other things or whoever doesn't want to want to do them well, anymore. Do not, Brian, do you not remember the conversation we had when we first made a decision I wanted to be on it? You turned around and went, because my biggest worry was that I wasn't going to be consistent. Yeah. And you turned around and went, listen, you have no pressure. I know how you are. Uh, when you're ready to be consistent, you can. But until then, you you do you. And when you're ready to, uh, you know, yeah. do you like that, you do it. But there's no pressure, Sophie. Yeah, for... And I think that that is the upside of having friendship 
as well. People say don't do it with friends. I think do it with friends. For me, like the only the only thing is, I want to make sure that I'm putting out at least one video a week. So, like, I've I've got the pressure on myself. If you get me, you've done that to yourself, though. Yeah, but uh, it's one of them things. If you want to grow on YouTube, you kind of need to be consistent. So, I want to make sure I've got at least one video going out a week. But yeah. I will never turn around and go, oh, I haven't got a video this week. <laughs> I need you to to like. You have to do a video. You have to get yeah, one gonna, for me. You've got to pull. <laughs> you've got to pull your socks up, guys. <laughs> really, he's a, but it, we're doing honestly because you guys asked for it. I've had so many requests. I'm going to name some names: Phoebe, uh, my friend Brian. Uh, like, there's so many people who ask to listen and. To give us ideas and we listen even though we're a small youtube we still get requests on what we should do yeah it's like we've got like a, i don't know how to say it. is it like a little niche following yeah we, like a cult following yeah we've, we've got a few like little loyal people hello to everyone who's like a fan of still the channel <laughs> and still listening and still listening <laughs> but we do it for you guys because you ask and we try to do it, and I try and keep when it's on my channel, which this will be, well, my side of the channel. Yeah. I like to listen to what people think, and we do. We try to actually comment back because we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Yeah, I want to say this. Um, when it comes to comments, I'm sorry with some of the ones that I don't reply to. It's because. I'm a very awkward person, and sometimes I don't know what to reply, but I will always give it a like and all that. Like, I will, I'll always like your comments. Sometimes I just don't know what to reply. I, I read them as well, and I'm not even on, like, it's, it's very, it's a very strange thing. If someone had turned around to me, like, what, a year ago and said, you'll be, well, no, we were doing it, but, like, a year before we started, you will be doing YouTube. I would have turned around and told them, you go, your mental, yeah. go to a mental hospital. <laughs> but now I'll do it. I'm always thinking it's giving me something to do, something to think about. Yeah, I couldn't um, imagine not doing it now. No. Um, but I don't know how to do podcasts, as you can tell. Uh, this is new, uh, and I really hope that we get to do this because it's it's good. I, I sometimes we just want to talk to you, and it's hard to do on video, like a video, and hard to just sit there. We're both very fidgety. Well, it it's good getting onto this topic because there's something I've wanted to talk about for a little while. Um, it, it's it's mad to think where we are now. Considering uh, when I first started up the channel, uh, I was working with this it was this little camera that Tom had no, got me for didn't. Christmas. That's a lie. You did it with your phone. No, I moved on to my phone because it had a better light ratio on that. Oh, the yeah. first, the first ever camera I had, um, Tom bought me it for my Christmas. I, I, I eternally grateful for that because it got me started. Uh, it got me this little camera. It was one of the very, very cheap ones, but it got me going. Uh, and to think that I've gone from you just using a little camera and my computer to now I've got lights that I paid quite a bit for. I've got like the camera that was like over, I think it was over three hundred something like that. Uh, I've, I've got still, I've still got the same computer that I was working with, but I've got all this new stuff. And it's mad to think that I started out with, like, the most basic, basic of equipment. And you've got people in the channel. You've yeah. You've got me, you've got we went, Tom. We went from Brian the Scary Lion to Scary Lion and Co. Yeah. Are you kidding? Like, not even with the channel. I think we've come so far in life. Yeah. I'm really proud of us. So am I. Me and, me and Brian laugh a lot, but we are very sentimental people. We don't like admitting it, but we are. 
Oh, I don't mind admitting it. I admit that I cry at films. <laughs> well, it's not that, though. I mean, we are always very thankful for what's going on. We're not, we, we could have it worse. We could, obviously, we'd love to have more subscribers and more people. We'd be lying if we didn't. But at the core of it, we just want to make people smile, even if it's two people, even if it's five people. You kidding? Do you remember my reaction when the ch- when the subscribers started shooting up? Yeah, you, you rang me straight away, actually. Yeah, I, I lost my mind. Like I, I, I never expected to see like a massive, massive shoot up in growth. But I'm not going to make this a long one. Um. Hopefully we'll do this again. I'd like to do this again. Yeah, it's nice just to sit down and have these little chats. It feels more authentic and more pure. But I'm going to leave, like I said, halfway through this, I'm going to leave a little sentimental thing out there for you all. Because this is my chat on my bit part, so I think I get the right to. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new to this channel, I want to say it. Thank you for taking the time to start watching. Because it really, ap- we do appreciate it. Yeah, we're eternally grateful. Completely. Um, I know my voice might not sound like it. it, might sound like I'm being sarcastic, but in all honesty, it, it's unbelievable just hearing that anyone's watching these videos. Like, I am so grateful for it. So, if you do have any ideas what you want us to talk to maybe about on the podcast, let me know. Well, so uh, mess- Right, you can message on uh, on the YouTube. You can leave a comment on YouTube. We have a Snapchat, right? We don't have a Snapchat. Uh, well, there is a Snapchat. I just can't remember what it is. But uh, we've got the Facebook which you can find yeah. linked in the channel. Um, we do have Instagram, which none of us ever use that Instagram. So if you want to get in touch on Instagram, uh, go to Brain the Sc- look up Brain the Scurry Lion. That's my personal Instagram. That's the one that I actually use. Uh, uh, but what, please let us know. And Twitter, Twitter as well. I actually do check the yep. Twitter page. So... Please, we'd love some ideas. Like, we're not running out, but we want to know what you want to watch. Maybe you want to just tell us that we're doing bad. We'd like, sometimes we want some criticism, but just tell us something. We want to hear from you, and you tell us what you want to see. Yeah. Uh, We're wrapping it up there. Yeah, are you ready for me to wrap it up, Sophie style? Well, tune in next time when I will tie a battery to Sophie's hair and make her spin around. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, guys, that was so- this is Sophie the Unicorn and Brian the Scary Lion. And I hope you enjoyed that. It's the first time I've done that, so I may have just messed it all up. Oh, I'm no, it went fine. Out- I'm pretty proud that I didn't say anything too outrageous. <laughs> I think that's an achievement. I'm going to go and buy myself a sweet for that. <laughs> um, if you if you uh, liked it, please. Uh, what do you say? But fuck that but, like fuck button. Like button. And uh, please, if you also want to subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. Um, and bye. Yeah, thanks for listening. Bye.